There is a tiny little animal in Bristol that everyone is fussing over, and she lives in the most unexpected place. A sweet little thing for sure. Yeah. Channel 3's Nicole Nalepa has more details <laughs> in today's Bright Spot. It's not something that is normal. <laughs> Meet one of the newest team members of Bristol Public Works, Gizmo the Hamster. You're not allowed to have animals in a municipality here in Bristol. But a special exception was made after an unlikely discovery over the winter, as public works analyst Lindsay Rivers told us. One of our guys was doing a bulk pickup on one of the coldest days of the year. It was probably like 10 degrees out that morning, and he went to go throw an uh, animal cage away. I mean, people put him in bulk pickups all the time. But when he went to go throw it in the back of the rubbish truck, she popped her head out of the bedding. Which was nothing short of a miracle after days of below freezing temps. Her water bottle was frozen, her eyes were frozen shut. It took her about two weeks to like settle in, realize that we weren't gonna like hurt her. The situation Gizmo came into was pure love. She's like our little mascot. She is on our public works page, teaching people what to do right, what not to do. Um, she does all of our outreach in the schools now. She's always part of the recycle programs. But Gizmo became so popular that Lindsay ended up giving Gizmo her own Facebook and Instagram accounts. It just kept growing and growing and people were like, Where's Gizmo? I want to see a picture of her. So now I'm like, oh my God, I have to do this every day. <laughs> the beauty behind Gizmo's social media pages, though, are the attention catching photos, which feature Gizmo on various vehicles, excavators, and the videos of her new home are just as amusing. Here she is cruising around the halls. And she goes in her little exercise ball and rolls into everyone's office, and she just makes it fun. Gizmo not only helps her team, but this little hamster has had a profound effect on her community. Like we had a book collection, for instance. I put her on a stack of books and then a ton of people donated stuff and they paid attention to it, shared it. All because Lindsay and her peers at Bristol Public Works wanted to share Gizmo with us. Everything happens for a reason and we were there that day and saved her and she's become the face of public works for anything we do. With today's Bright Spot, bye Gizmo! I'm Nicole Nalepa.